Let's start with the transducer and let's see what is important here. So this is the transducer that we're using for cardiac imaging. As you will note, it has a fairly small footprint, which is very important because we need to get right in between the intercostal space. Another important feature is that we have a marker. This marker allows us to always know where we're actually orienting our a transducer on the image. Now, if you compare this transducer with this transducer here, which is a curvilinear transducer that we use for abdominal scanning, you'll recognize it looks quite different. In contrast, this is a classic linear transducer that we use, for example, for the keratids. It's important that you really take care of the transducer because it's a very sensitive part. And if you drop it or if you break it, they're very expensive. They cost something in the range of over 15,000 euros. And if you have a 3D transducer, they might be even more expensive. When you learn how to play tennis, the very first thing that is taught to you is how to hold the racket. And the same thing is true for the transducer. So here we go. So how do you hold the transducer? It's very important to hold the transducer further down, very close to the footprint. What I always do is I always use my little finger and kind of fixate the transducer by putting it in such a position. And to have a firm position of the transducer on the chest, it's important to rest your entire arm on the chest of the patient. Then you place the transducer and with the little finger, you more or less fix the position. This is very important because if you hold the transducer somewhere here, you'll eventually lose the position and you will not get a good image. What we show you in this course is imaging with your right hand, but I'm well aware that many of you probably image also with your left hand. There's not much difference. The advantage of course if you image with your left hand is that your back is little less under strain. Um, the disadvantage is that most people are actually right-handed and it's probably easier to start learning echocardiography with the hand that uh, you're used to working with most. Still, when you image with your left hand, be aware that you have to adhere to the very same rules. Again, try to stabilize the hand uh, on the body as much as possible. 